So, do you know your best makeup shades? And do you also happen to be in autumn color season? And I'm not just talking foundation here, I'm talking lip color, eyeshadow, mascara, and so much more. If you want to learn how to choose the best shades for a variety of different makeup, then make sure to keep on watching and watch until the end because I'm going to show you your best shades if you are a soft, true, or dark autumn color season. <music> Hey guys, for those of you who don't already know me, I'm Bella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome to my channel, Concept3, where I help you elevate your wardrobe and your personal image. In today's video, I'm so excited because it's the very first of a series I will be doing on how to choose the best makeup for your color season. Super curious to know what is your color season. If you're watching this video, you I hope that you're in autumn, but um, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And before we start, I want to thank the sponsor for today's video, who is Merit Beauty. Merit Beauty is a makeup brand with the core notion that less is more. They pride themselves on having minimalistic, high-quality products that are free of toxins, vegan, cruelty-free, and made with recyclable packaging. All orders over $50 ship free, and your first orders ship with their very own signature bag, which is super convenient. I use this to put my makeup in and travel with, so it's definitely a plus. So if you haven't already checked out Merit Beauty, make sure to go visit their website through the link in the description below. As part of their new collection, they sent me this Great Skin Instant Glow Serum, which is an amazing product to use to prep your skin before you put on foundation or concealer. And they sent me the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick, which functions as both a concealer and a foundation, so it's extremely handy. And then they sent me the Bronze Balm Sheer Bronzer, which is a great option for those of you who don't like bronzers that are too intense. This is nice and shimmery and light, so it's great to use for an everyday basis. And then they sent me the blending brush, which is amazing to use for both blush and bronzer. And putting all these things together gives me my final look, which is minimalistic, sexy, and really easy for an everyday look. So if you haven't tried their products, make sure to go and try them. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the true autumn color season, which is one of the subcategories of autumn that sits on the color wheel between dark autumn and soft autumn. So it's kind of the in the middle color season. And some notable celebrities who are a true autumn are Beyonce, Eva Mendes, and Lindsay Lohan. So. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the foundation. So what is the best foundation if you are a true autumn? So for foundation, I would definitely avoid any cool tones. Warmer tones are going to be a better pick for you. Try to go for matte or satin finishes and always avoid dewy or over shiny finishes because it's going to clash with your naturally bright and radiant complexion. Moving on to lip colors, you want to definitely try oranges, reds, warm pinks, and browns, and matte finishes with a slight golden shimmer. You want to make sure all of these colors have a bit of warmth to them, that they have a little bit of brown and golden. You really want to avoid any lip colors that are going to be blue-based or that are going to have colors that are more suitable for cooler undertones. Now for your eyeshadow, you want to avoid glittery, finishes and also cool finishes. Cool finishes are going to clash with your warm appearance and the glitter is going to be a bit too much because you already have, like I said, you have a very radiant um, complexion. Some amazing colors to try would be oranges, reds, purples, and greens. When looking for blushes, I would also follow the same rule as the lip colors. So really try to choose warm and radiant shades avoid pink and blue base tones, and then also avoid colors that are too matte or overly shimmery. When it comes to eyeliner and I, okay. When it comes to eyeliner and mascara, on the other hand, you could try to ditch the classic black and try warm dark brown or dark gray tones. This is going to be a little bit softer on your appearance and it's going to complement you very well. 
Lastly, the bronzer that is going to be your best choice is going to be any shade that is warm, rich, and yellow based. I, as a true autumn, I would avoid bronzers that are too shimmery as with the eyeshadows and other things I talked about before. So now that we've covered the best shades for the true autumn color season, we're going to move on to soft autumn. And soft autumn sits on the color wheel beneath both true autumn and dark autumn. So it's going to be the lightest, the most delicate of the whole color season. Some celebrities who are a soft autumn color season are Drew Barrymore, Jessica Biel, and Nicole Richie. Now that we have an idea of what this would look like, let's go ahead and see your best makeup shades. Now when it comes to foundation, your best shades are going to have light yellow undertones. You want to go for a satin finish that is neither too shiny nor too matte. So you want to get something that's a little bit more in the middle. And a last thing to avoid would be dewy and radiant finishes because this is going to be a little bit too much for your already radiant complexion. Moving on to your best lip colors, you should always opt for a matte finish because anything that's too shimmery or glossy is going to clash with your appearance. In addition, I would avoid very bright and overly cool colors because this is definitely going to clash with your overall warm complexion. Moving on to eyeshadow, I would definitely avoid black, icy, or bright colors. Instead, I would go for soft reds, pinks, purples, blues, and green. And in terms of finish, I would try a matte or slightly shimmery finish. Now for blush, I would follow more or less the same rules for lip color. I would try warm, gentle colors that have a slight shimmer. And in addition, you want to really make sure to blend in your blush because being a bit of a more soft color, anything is going to look harsh if you don't blend it in the right way. For eyeliner and mascara, I would say that black can be too harsh at times depending what the occasion is. It might be okay for nighttime. But in general, I would try a soft brown, a dark brown, or warm gray tones. This is going to complement you a lot better than black. Now lastly, for bronzer, I would definitely avoid too much shimmer and warmth and anything that's a bit over the top because you wanna make sure you're able to blend it in and that it looks delicate and elegant. And finally, we've reached the last color season, which is dark autumn. And this sits on the color wheel above true autumn and soft autumn, making it one of the more dark and deep um, color seasons within the autumn spectrum. Some celebrities who are a dark autumn include the notable and renowned Oprah Winfrey, Jessica Alba, and Aubrey Plaza. Now when choosing the best foundation, the dark autumn should always go for matte and satin finishes and avoid pink and blue based foundations. The foundations are, that are going to be your best match are going to be a bit more on the warmer side, so always keep this in mind. Moving on to lip colors, the best shades are going to be pinks and burnt oranges or dark reds and browns, depending on how dark or how light you are. As a dark autumn, I would opt for matte finishes or ones with very little shimmer. When choosing the best eyeshadow, I would beware of very light colors because all of your features are a bit on the darker side, so the contrast is not going to look so great. Opt for a more matte or metallic finish because having the darker eyes and the darker hair, the metallic is not going to clash with you as much as it would clash with a soft autumn. Now with blush, this follows a similar rule to the lip color. I would avoid pink and blue based tones and instead go with tones that are a bit uh, more on the warm side and things that are going to make your complexion glow. I would also try matte or slightly shimmery finishes. And then when choosing eyeliner and mascara, I would avoid any blue black shades because this is not going to be complementary to your warm complexion. I would always try to do brown black, very dark or warm gray colors as well. Now for bronzer, since your features tend to be on the more deep side, you can definitely go a bit darker and it's not going to be a stark contrast as it would be for a soft autumn. I would definitely avoid overly shimmery bronzers and I would go for, I would go for shades that are neither too orangey nor too muted. Again, if you liked any of the makeup that I showed you in the feature on Merit Beauty and you want recommendations based on your skin tone and your color season, 
and I will leave a whole roadmap down in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and click the like button so that it can reach other people and help them as well when figuring out their best makeup shades. And most importantly, if you're not already subscribed to the channel and part of the family that we have here at Concept3, please make sure to click the subscribe button and then also click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos weekly on fashion, image and transformation, and there's a lot of really exciting things going on and I don't want you to miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video. Bye.